Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just made a video about the to mirror something with the mirror tool horizontally and vertically, and vertically, and I stated in there that I'd just drawn that object by hand, so I thought I'd share how you could draw something like that symmetrically. So you've drawn a rectangle, you need to go up to a range and convert it to a curve. Our rectangle is well, let's tell you what, just for the video, let's make it 8 by 8. Make it something perfect. And what you do need to do then is change your nudge factor to whatever you want to make the top. So we're going to move the nodes over 3 inches. Grab your shape tool, click on your item, and click on that node. And then use your right arrow key to move it over. Click on that node and use your left arrow key to move it over. Now you have a perfect shape. And just to kind of prove that with the mirror tool, I'm going to, let's zoom in here. And I'm going to make a duplicate of that same shape, Control D. And I'm going to mirror, mirror it horizontally. It didn't change because it's right on top of the other one. So if you were a little bit off, let's just back up here. And let's take this node and just make it a little bit off. And then if you took it, and mirrored it with control D and made a copy of it and mirror it now look how it's off so to draw symmetrically is to move the nodes with the nudge distance the equal amount and you can get a lot of different shapes with this control D mirror it that away now you got this shape I just showed that in the last video or you actually have that shape you know you can come up with some different shapes Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.